Hello friends, today we are going to read a silly book called I Want to Eat Your Books by Karine LeFranc, illustrated by Tyler Parker. I want to eat your books. Who's limping strangely down the hall with outstretched arms and groaning drawl? A zombie, could it really be? I hope he won't come after me. I raced to class but turned to see the zombie boy sit next to me. I think he's new from out of town, says Sophie with a nervous frown. Oh no, cries Eric. Take a look, he's chomping on your science book. And now he's got a paperback, he's munching as a midday snack. He looks at us with bulgy eyes and chews off a torn off page and cries, I want to eat your books. He rips a chunk of sharks at sea. Non-fiction books are now his cups of tea. We look around for Mrs. Schmidt. When she sees this, when she sees this, she'll have a fit. This monster's not a carnivore or meat eater. This guy's a hungry bookivore. So he's eating books. He wolfs my vocab book like cake. He'll learn the word for tummy ache. Cake, noun, a very big cupcake. I don't think that's right. <laughs> he rolls his head and grunt hunts its prey. I hide my favorite. Go away! You're not to hunt poor Frankenstein. This clumsy beast, a friend of mine. Then just in time, our teacher's here. It's library! And we all cheer, so it's time to go to the library. I wonder what this friend will do. The zombie stops and shoots a glare, then tilts his hat head to sniff the air. His monstrous plan I quickly see is to devour the library. I want to eat your books. The creature marches down the aisle and stops at science fiction with a smile. Such crispy pages strewn with words. Our creature's craving seconds and thirds. Oh no, he's eating all the books. The monster's diet is insane. I spot the perfect book, The Brain. I hold it up with shaking hand. I hope our friend will understand. He grunts and groans, then grasps the book and flips the page to take a look. His fingers slide around the charts, the human brain and all its parts. The zombie drools with growing greed, then taps the page and shouts, Please read! He listens, nods with little slurps. He's actually very nice. <laughs> he says, please, and fills the air with paper burps. He wants, to, he wants the friend to read the book to him. And then to everyone's surprise, he shuffles the row and cries, I want to read your books. We hear a rip and whirl around a real-life mummy's common wound. She's tearing sheets from easy crafts to fill her holes and stop the drafts. We need to stop this paper, fly paper fight. Then stunned, we see an awesome sight. Oh, so some she's missing some parts, so she's trying to rip the paper out to fill it in. Our zombies found a box in white, so that's the, that's the first aid kit and gently taps, tapes the mummy tight. We creep in closer for a look. To find him reading her a book. So they're being nice friends. The end. Well, that was a silly, silly book. I hope you enjoyed it.